AI is the end, or so they say. This is what we've been told since the beginning, from Rossum's Universal Robots, to the Terminator, to the Matrix, you name it. But at Boris FX, we beg to differ. We don't see AI as ending our creativity, we see it as a force multiplier. I'm gonna teach you how to do non-traditional rotoscoping using AI technology within Boris FX Mocha. I'm gonna be demonstrating this in Avid Media Composer, but functionally, this works pretty much the same across all your NLEs. So Boris FX Continuum now has Mocha built right into several different plugins, and we're going to show an example of how to roto this man right off of the screen. And here's our protagonist training at golden hour on top of the roof. Our goal today is to cut this character off the background and give the background a surreal look. So let's go to BCC Art Looks and pick something like half tone. Drag that onto the footage. And now that the effect editor panel is open, there's a lot of options here to customize. But let's look at some presets within the FX browser. Click on the box next to it. The FX browser is found throughout Boris FX plugins where presets are available. Some of these have really strong looks. Let's pick this one, for example. Go down to the bottom right and click apply. Now that we got the look picked out for our background, for now let's roll with this look and go down to where it says pixel chooser slash mocha. Twirl that open. The option of pixel chooser and mocha is now found throughout Boris FX. We can use this to limit how the effect influences the footage, such as using keying or common shapes or even rotoscoping. And we're gonna do just that. Click launch mocha. Welcome to mocha. Now I'm not a big fan of learning new UI, so in about three clicks, I'm gonna show you how to do rotoscoping that we've made extremely accessible using machine learning technology. Traditionally, we'd have to use splines and mark every part of the subject's body. But now all you have to do is go over here to click on the object brush. This is an AI tool that's very good at recognizing people. And since trees and buildings don't have faces, we're gonna start by clicking on the forehead. You can wait for it to initialize, and then to go down to the lowest part of the body. And check that out, three clicks later and he's ready to render. Once he's been selected, click finish or just go to the pick tool. And under this little essentials panel, you wanna make sure that this square has been highlighted blue. That's gonna generate an object mat using Mat Assist ML. We could render forward and backward, but they made this handy little button called render forwards and backwards. Click there and let it render. Now you'll notice that there are some spots that the mask is missing, but for the sake of this example, we're not gonna worry about it. Once it finishes, go up to this button to click save, and then exit out of Mocha. Now we did say that we wanted the background to be the thing that gets the effect. So let's go to Pixel Chooser Mask and select Invert Mask. Now let's render to play back. Check it out, this is a fun look. This did pretty well for some challenging footage, but if we wanted to get really picky, we could open up Mocha and use some of the traditional tools to mask out every part of the subject's body. So let's try a different one of this woman walking in a field and see what we can do there. This looks like a great day for a walk outside, but I want that background to look a little bit more lush and green. So let's rotoscope her off of the screen and add a touch of color. In the effects palette, go to grads and tints and select BCC color gradient. The default isn't exactly lush green, so let's double click on the color box and with the color selector, click on the darkest green in basic colors. Click okay and let's reorient this gradient. Let's give it a 180. Now the background has a nice lush green look to it, but the problem is so does she. So let's launch Mocha and rotoscope her out of the picture. Within the effect editor, go to Mocha mask and track, twirl that down and check Mocha mask to launch. This is a really good shot because we can see most of her in the frame. But because her colors look very similar to the colors in the background, let's see how many clicks this takes. Select your object brush, start with the face, and once it initializes, go down to the bottom of the leg, a crease in the pants, and maybe some of the extraneous gear she's carrying. So let's get a little bit more picky with this shot. I'm gonna use my screen tablet and pen and use the brush tool. Select and hold the object brush and go down to where it says, create new area brush. There are tools up here to navigate, but I'm gonna use this keyboard shortcut X to grab and move the image around and then Z to zoom in. You could control or command click to change the size of the brush, but with my pen, I just have to adjust the pressure. So I'm gonna just paint away. 
Uh oh, it looks like I colored way outside of the lines. All you need to do is hold the Alt or Option key on a Mac and that will subtract. Let's subtract the area near her braid and right about here. And before I get too OCD, I should remind everybody, you don't have to be pixel perfect. The object brush is gonna do what it can do. So let's swing back up to the object brush, make sure it's selected and then click finish or the pick tool. With the generate object mat selected, render forwards and backwards. As you can see with her right hand swinging back and forth, the AI could tell that this is a person. Let's go up here to save and then exit Mocha. Back in the pixel chooser, let's twirl open mask and click invert mask. With a little bit of fine tuning, those harsh edges can be adjusted by dilating inward and slightly increasing the feather. Now let's render and play back. Well, that one turned out really good. So now that Boris FX has Mocha and Pixel Chooser in almost every one of their filters, now you can be really detailed about which part of the footage is influenced by those effects. My name is Zach Ciotti. Thank you for watching. Go find out more at BorisFX.com.